Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and I had a bunch of people ask me um, a couple of questions with the how to fix the echo issue in OBS. And some people said they had some issues, um, especially people who are gaming. Now, granted, I'm not talking, to, I don't talk about gaming, but hey, somebody asked a question, so we're here to help. So let's go over to our desktop real quick. So the main thing we always talk about, if we go into settings, and for me, and under audio, these are your global audio settings. So if you turn this on, it will capture everything that goes to your desktop. Everything, every little sound, everything. And personally, especially in a church standpoint, I don't want to do that because some audio I don't want to capture. Now, one of the issues was that somebody was saying that they, they're playing games and now you can't hear anything. There's an update. Um, I forgot where this was introduced. Um, so this makes this a lot easier. So this makes this video even easier. If you want to capture just game audio itself, there is a source here called application audio only. All right. So I don't want to capture everything. So like, for example, let me go ahead and let's switch back everything so I can show you this. For example, let's turn on desktop audio. I want to capture everything. So now this shows up. And what I'm going to do is let's play my intro music because that is a song that I have a license to. And I think this is it. So let's bring this down just a little bit. You see right here. It is now capturing that audio and I might not want that to be, let me bring that back up. It's capturing that audio as well too. If I stop it, it's capturing everything that's coming from the desktop. So this, this is what causes the, the echo. Um, so I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is instead, I'm going to turn that back off to disabled. All right. And say, and I'm going to specifically use a game because this is what the person was asking me about. So I'm going to bring up Bejeweled real quick. So you can hear music is playing. Hopefully I don't get hit for that. Let me actually mute it <laughs> real quick. And I should have just did that the entire time. So music is playing from this game and let's do this again. And I don't know why I just turned it off. If I go back to default here, and I bring this up and let's do these side by side. You can see audio from the game is being captured. And I don't know why it drops so fast. Oh, because <laughs> I'm not clicking on it. So see, the audio is coming from the game. All right. That's how most people, when they're capturing stuff, that's how it, want, it wants to be done. So, but like I said, if you turn off desktop capture, hey, guess what? You don't have any audio. But anyway, <laughs> not to drag this out, but in OPS, there is a add on called um, a source that you can use called application audio capture. It's still in beta, but this is only going to capture the audio from a given application. So let's go ahead and turn that back on and let's go to the properties. And what do I want to capture? First, you can select the window. First, you want to do window match title. You want to give it a name and then it will match for it. Me personally, I just changed it to match title window, excuse me, window title must match. Um, we'll do same type and then you can pick the application. So I'm going to pick Bejeweled. And now if I go back, it's capturing that audio. But now let me click off of here because it's going to pause that and let's go back and let's play our theme music. Now, if I unmute that now, see, we're playing it, but nothing is being captured in OBS. It's only capturing, only capturing the audio from Bejeweled. So hopefully if you ever want to capture a specific audio, now this, let's go back to the media ministry part. This is the reason why, like if you wanted to play some type of music or something like that, that you're licensed for, and you don't want it to go out to OBS, you could do something like this to say, hey, I don't want to capture any audio. I only want to capture 
audio that comes from this application. Or again, if you're gaming for here, it wouldn't capture anything else unless you wanted to. Now, if I want to capture my audio, then I could also come in here and say, hey, I want to do an input capture. And then I want to capture the microphone that I'm using, which is the chat of my roadcaster. So now you see it's capturing my audio and it's capturing the audio from the game. So now I can, let's turn it down a little bit because if you're gaming and you want to be able to hear everything that's going on, let's turn it up a little bit more. So now you can hear everything. So if I came out here and played, you can hear all this stuff. And let me actually record this. And let's actually, let's game capture this as well too. So you can actually see what I'm playing. And let me minimize this so that we can get back to our game. Let's play a little diamond, um, diamond mine. This is one of the ones I really like a lot. And let's just simulate so you can hear everything that's going on. Play real quick. And so again, if I'm still talking, you should be able to just hear me talking and you should be able to hear the audio. Now I have my speakers muted, so it's not coming through here, but the recording should have both. And granted, I didn't balance it out to make sure that I'm in level and you hear me over the audio, but hopefully this is just kind of proving a point. And I don't want to get too excited because I haven't played this game in a minute. So that's it. Hopefully that helps for the ones that were saying that, hey, you can't hear this. You only want to capture the audio only from the application and not the entire desktop, because then you'll still want to avoid the echo, but you can still capture whatever. So if this works, if you want to do Zoom, you want to record only the audio from Zoom, but you're getting all the bleeps and bloops from your computer, and you don't want that to be recorded. If you're using OBS for doing this, you can record just the specific audio from the application and then I'm recording my mic and then it ignores everything else. So let me know if you have any other questions. Hopefully this helps y'all, the people who said they had a problem with it. And that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry or just help you in general when it comes to live streaming and using OBS. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later.